Ricky, I just discovered an Easter egg in Mario Brothers. Okay, so what do we do now? We're gonna text James, the Easter egg hunter. We'll know what to do. Hey James, it's Aaron. I don't know if you've heard, but I have just unearthed an Easter egg in Super Mario Brothers. Play the first level and jump 300 times before the time runs out and you will be beamed to the final battle against Bowser. Call you in a couple of days to find out how you're getting on. So, an Easter egg in Super Mario Brothers. Well, that should be easy, as after all, I am the Easter egg. Hunter? talking about? I've tried for two days and I can't get it to work. I'm exhausted. Why won't it work? Oh, dude, I, I was just kidding. This beautiful Saturday morning has turned into an extra special game hunting weekend. We're joined by a subscriber and now friend who has flown all the way from Texas to come down to California. We're really excited to game hunt with him. Let's just see how this pursuit plays out. What's up guys, good morning and today we're at another swap meet but we're joined by Someone we've actually talked about before. If you guys watch our show, um, we had a subscriber back in the day early, uh, Kingsley, and uh, he just became a good friend. He's uh, from Texas. He actually knows like the game chasers and those guys. He's met him a couple times, so he gets around in the gaming hunting world. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, we're gonna go hunting with him today. So hopefully he get first tips. And I've always wanted to honor him with. So let's, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Zombies for the DS, and uh, okay. it is 100% sealed. So he's not that cheap for him, but pretty cool. I, actually, this game's a lot more fun than I uh, gave it credit for when I first heard about it. So I think Kingsley's picking up a Nintendo 64 and a couple games for like 20 bucks. He, he's a good wheeler and dealer, so it might be good for having him around today for us, for our sake. <laughs> Wolverines. <laughs> Wait, is it supposed to do that? It's supposed to do that. That's awesome. I'm coming after you. Ah! <laughs> I don't look at toys much, but I feel like we should look at toys more because we run across toys a lot, as you guys know. I mean, that's kind of 
life. Yeah, yeah the this Hulkster. Hulkster media. Like our last. He drew titties <laughs> on the Hulkster. And he drew titties on the Hulkster. <laughs> That's from Scott JHNDF. Game Boy printer. Okay. This thing's awesome. I don't have one of these. I, I know it's not the place in Bravo or anything, but there's a whole bunch of three times. I mean, the other one's This is pretty yeah. freaking awesome to have. <laughs> so if you come down here, Andy, um, let's take a look. I don't know if I see anything amazing yet, but they definitely do have games, obviously. Risk. Uh, everything's kind of jumbled up. I know when you're looking through Atari, I don't know much, but I do know to look for Air Raid. That's all I know. But it's like there's also a master system it's stuck to the, no, it's too close. right here, so which comes with uh, can come with a few different games on it. There's a snail game. There's also the Outrun or uh, Hang On. I mean, Safari Hunt. No. Is that almost a tank engine plug and play? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sweet. Did I just find myself a plug and play? This one looks awesome. Yes, but I've played the Thomas the Train game on Super Nintendo. And it's terrible. So I'm highly doubting that this would be good. This is by TVGames.com, Jack Pacific. Never heard of it. So, probably not. I know it's easy to get discouraged going to the same resellers week after week, but sometimes it's not a bad idea to check back in. We've been to this guy quite a few times and I don't think we've ever bought anything off him. But this weekend, it seemed like he had a lot of things we never saw. Maybe we skipped over him the past few times. But today, he had quite a few things we really wanted. Hmm. How much is uh, Elisa Dragoon? All right. Say yeah, five dollars. Five dollars each. Five each. I hear a lot of things about this from uh, people like Pat the NES Punk and a lot of other people. It's a, it's a good title. I've actually heard quite a bit good about it, so I think I'll get it. Five bucks? Yeah, five bucks. What do you want? Alright, I got a ten. Yeah. You get a five or... Uh, yeah, 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 just one. Yeah. Ooh, that Battletoads is clean that you got. You got that Battletoads? Yeah. That thing's clean. Yeah, see Star 2. Yeah, or free, yeah, actually. Three. Thank you, sir. Five bucks, I can't complain. That's actually a good game. If you guys watch our show, you know we run into Dave Hester quite often. This weekend, he had a lot more gaming stuff than we've ever seen him have. He had most of his stuff set out, but we happened to find a bin with some random Nintendo 64 games in it. Did he have something we really wanted? Lover. How much for this one, Dave? There was there was another crate that had N64 games in it. The only bummer about you can call them up here. The only bummer about this Bomberman Hero is there's like tape on the label label, so this is pretty much unremovable. Because Nintendo 64 games are like the worst for label quality. Which one? Mystical Ninja Goman. Besides the fact that not one of us is pronouncing the name of this game correctly, this is a really awesome game. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been wanting this for a while, but Ricky beat me to it. I'm not gonna put up a fight. Guillemon. Mystical Ninjas are pretty awesome Gilmore. games too. A lot of yeah. people uh, are really into these. The fact uh, that this Konami already says... Eric from Let's Get, from RetroWare TV, is very, very into Guillemot. So after our pretty good day at the swap meet, we go to quite a few garage sales. We ended up going to like five that whole day, and honestly, the only time we scored was at the very first one. The Bible game, I've never even heard of this, but I actually do enjoy, and I'm not joking, all the Bible games on the Nintendo. Oh, I see they have the Xbox One below. Oh, wow. Check this out, the new Xbox One. Here you have it, it's that uh, cool sleek design they got. Uh, Xbox, find me stuff. 
Just kidding. I'm not hating on the Xbox One, guys, by the way. I know a lot of people do, but I don't really care. E3 hasn't come yet, so I'm not judging. Um, I'm guessing these have been picked through, is my guess. How much are the games? Those are PS2 games, they're $2 each. Two each? How much are these? A buck. I'll take them. Flippers. Yes. Ocean flippers. They're not swimmers flippers. I actually love bodyboarding. I know you guys don't know that, but I do. I had two pieces How much is this, today. by the way? Just curious. That's five bucks. I know. Crazy. And it has all the cords and the remote. Look at that. I had... It's got the eye toy here. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll probably get it. There you go, man. All right, so this is well. I'm a Shamu. <laughs> Five bucks for PS2. She says it works. She's in the area, so Shamu. she seems real cool. Like, I'm sure she wouldn't care if it was to let me return. This was so. deceitful. Look, like, I picked it up. I thought it was Shinmu. I was like, yes. I thought it was Shenmue Also, <laughs> it's like the same. The S is like the same style as the Shenmue. <laughs> I was like, ah. Uh... Before we call it quits for the day, we head to one more store. This place actually sells a lot of Japanese game and imports. They don't have too many American games, but it's really fun for guys like us to look around a shop like this. Metal Slug is like the second up to uh, Contra. It's like the it's the rival. Contra and Metal Slug. Oh, they're, they're, they're nice. Better. They do have a lot of better art, bucks. better art than we do. Um, America, the American games normally don't get the best art, as opposed to like European, Japan. But maybe that's just because we're so used to seeing the same stuff now. We want, yeah. we want to see the new stuff. But I wonder if they think that like over there, like if they think we have the better art. Better art. Yeah, I'm curious actually. Oh no. What? I'm addicted to Zelda games. Oh, oh. There's nothing wrong with being addicted to Zelda. I think most people can feel your pain on that. Uh, Mad World on the Wii. If you guys think that the Wii is a kid system, this is like one of the most brutal games I have ever played in my life. It's like black and white, kind of reminds me of like Sin City the movie. Um, kind of reminds me of like Quentin Tarantino, but it's super bloody and it's pretty much all about interesting ways of killing people. Like the gnarlier of a way you kill them, the better. So this is pretty good. 450. I have it already, but just letting you guys know, it's uh. It's been a really fun and awesome game hunting day for us, but now it's time to go home and head our separate ways. Today's a little sad because we have to say goodbye to our friend Kingsley, and it's not like we can just call him up anytime as we said because he lives in Texas, but we really did have a lot of fun with him and we're ever thankful we got to see him. But it's time to say goodbye. What's going on guys? Aaron here. And Ricky. Hey, first of all we want to say... Thank you to Chipsters. Chip. Um, that's a big deal for us. Actually, when we, our first, most of our episodes used to have a thing that popped up in the beginning that said, inspired to make videos due to the work of NES Complex, Game Chasers, Retro Hunters. And you. And Chipsters. Chipsters. So, it was a big deal for us, like, when you did this for us. I know it might sound dumb, yeah. but it means a lot to us. It really does. James, if you guys don't know who Chipsters is, I kind of doubt you don't know because he's got, like, 30,000 subscribers or something like that, so... Please check him out. His main thing that he does is the Easter Egg Hunter. This is the Easter Egg Hunter. Where he finds all like the hidden gems in video games. I know there's some big channels that do that now too, but he's been doing this for a long time before all of them. So, and he does an excellent job. He's one of the best channels on YouTube. He's one of the reasons we started doing this. Thank so, you, Chipsters. Thank you. We love you. And uh, we love you guys. Thank you again for everything you guys do for watching. We like to say thank you every time just because... It means a lot that you guys sit around and watch two guys be stupid. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you, guys. Thanks. So, um, all right. As always, Ricky over here. Bust a move four. So bust a move. Freaking good, dude. Awesome game. I'd say one of the most addicting, like, puzzle, or what do you call it? I don't think it's called It's puzzle just puzzle. so easy and so simple, but it's so good. You guys know what Bust Move is. If you don't, it's one of those games where you literally just point a little thing and shoot a, a ball on match colors, but it's it's uh, good. It's one of my favorite time waster games, I yeah. guess you could call it. So. I used to love this on, our, on the arcade. Yeah. I don't know why. And then we got, I also got the bouncer for PS2. 
Yeah, which is square bounce soft. With me, bounce with me. I take me, take me, take me, bounce with me, bounce with me. I actually started it a long time ago, and I think I only got to like what ten percent of the game. Yeah, it's um pretty awesome. It reminds you of a Final Fantasy type game, but it's not like yeah. I guess it's not in our. It's a live action RPG game. I think it's called. Yeah, it's like, something like that. So, yeah, so now I can finally finish it. Finish him. Finish him. Finish it. Oh, speaking of finish him, <laughs> for the N64, I got Mortal Kombat. Mythologies of Sub-Zero. Sub I haven't played it yet, but I've heard it's not... Yeah, I can't remember if that's... There, there is a Mortal is Kombat the out there. There's a Mortal Kombat out there that a lot of people talk trash on, and I think it's this one? Let us know, you 64 yeah. uh, people, 64 Matthew, Glenn Plant, you uh, big 60, <laughs> Nintendo 64 people. Let us know, because we don't know. Hey, Matt. My nipples look like nug Yeah! <laughs> Mischief Makers. Yeah, that was from uh, Mr. Dave Hester, and um, yep. if you guys haven't played this, I've talked about it before, it's like a puzzle platformer. To me, one of my favorite games on the Nintendo 64. It wasn't like the fully 3D roaming worlds like Nintendo 64 was doing, but it was mixing a little bit of 3D, 2D, side-scrolling platforming. Brilliant game. Mystical Ninja Gomen. Guillaumon. Guillaumon. Alright, I'm looking it up right now. It's Goemon. Sorry. So Mystical Ninja, Awesome game. Also, my favorite awesome. one I think was in the Super Nintendo though. That was was amazing. Um, this one's amazing too. So definitely something to grab if you have not. All right, for me, I didn't get that much, but I got a few things. First thing I got was for the Genesis, Alicia Dragoon, which I originally heard from um, from Pat the NES Punk. If you guys have seen his video and uh, you want to check it out, go check it out. If you're not 18, probably don't check it out. <laughs> it's like a pretty <laughs> risky video. But um, it's like a side-scrolling platformer, and it's really cool. You play as a girl named Alicia, and you get a lot of superpowers and stuff. And it's really, it really cool. cool. Yeah, I only played it for a little bit. I haven't played it yet. I picked it up because of Pat. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited for this. So, big deal. Nice. The Bible game, which I haven't played. I We went to a garage sale, and um, it was sitting there. And honestly, the only reason I got it was the cover art. It's pretty cool. Hey, Xenophobe has really good cover art. Is that a good game? If and, he would have gotten it, I would have gotten it. Yeah. It awesome. And uh, it's clean. I know, I don't know if it's going to be fun or anything, but I'm actually a pretty big fan of the NES uh, Bible games. I know uh, AVGN messes with them a lot, but I actually really like them. They're awesome. Yeah, they're really fun games. And then I also got this uh, for five bucks. A PS2. Mine broke a while back, and I haven't replaced it in a while, so I saw this for five bucks. It comes with, like, the internet adapter on the back, and it has everything in there. I don't want to... You guys should have seen what he got, honestly. Yeah, everything. it came with, like, the cable extenders, like, the eye toy, eye toy, and controllers, and all this random stuff, and it's in great condition, too, so... Five bucks. Five bucks for all that, so I was really happy about that. And then, my last two things I got, which are pretty cool, I got Jackal. It's com I've got this a little while back, but I haven't shown it. Um, Jackal in the box, pretty darn near perfect shape. This this is actually one of the NES games we got a while back that has never been played ever. So these are mint, 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 mint inside. And if mm -hmm. you haven't played Jackal, it's a Konami game. So you can imagine Konami, especially in the NES days, Super Nintendo game days, are awesome. Kind of like Akari Warriors, but in a more of a Jeep. And the last one I got, I'm just showing you guys this. It's not a good game really at all. It's like worse than Top Gun. Delph. And the reason I'm showing it to you guys, as I know you guys can't really see in there, maybe you can. The box is the best box I have for any Nintendo game, and any game really at all. I mean, nice. it, it literally looks like it. nobody touched it, but it's Activision, and it's, like I said, like Top Gun, Flight Simulator. Boring game, but cool to have. I just looked up, and looked you in the eyes, and I'm like, gosh, that's awkward. I also got some, we got some other games, but we just... Yeah, I know some of you guys ask, like, hey, why don't you guys show a lot of stuff? Honestly, you guys, it's time. It's really hard for me editing uh, every week. I don't have that much time. <laughs> with two kids and a pregnant wife and all that so yeah every time me and Ricky pull out a bundle we honestly get maybe like 20 games each week just but like, our rule is kind of like just show just five show five of the best yeah five of the ones you want to show yeah because I, it's hard on time so but otherwise that's it and uh like we say, as always, every freaking time, <laughs> like the videos. They make us feel good, you guys. I'm serious. It yeah, really does. Honestly, some so, of those comments, dude, they're good. Yeah, the comments um, in the last video, you guys said some really cool things. A lot of you guys are saying we're your favorite YouTube channel and stuff. And to us, that's like mind-blowing because we didn't think that anyone would ever think that of us. <laughs> so we're really thankful. That we really appreciate it. It honestly does make my day when you read a comment like that. So yeah. you guys are cool. We have good friends now. And um, subscribe if you haven't. We're always here doing different things every week. Stupid stuff, silly stuff. I can't dance. So. Yeah, we can, dude. Kingsley, did Kingsley. It. Oh yeah. By the way, yeah, we're, we're <laughs> with our buddy Kingsley from. Uh, he came down from Texas, you guys, and hung out with us. Um, nice guy. 
Houston awesome. Retro Gamers on Facebook if you guys want to check him out. He's just a cool dude. Came down to see yeah. us and hang out. I don't know if he only came down to see us, but... Oh, yeah. We he have... did. Oh, yeah. That's why he did. <laughs> yeah, but just I know... Uh, like... <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a super nice guy. And we had fun with him, so yeah, thank he's cool. you for coming down and hanging out. Until then, I guess that's it. And I, someone did comment, like, oh, why didn't you do it? So, bye, guys. <laughs> didn't even flinch. <laughs>